You are now listening to or watching the It Takes All Kinds podcast. Yeah, and if you aren't, you can head over to Apple Podcasts or Spotify and listen to us now, or head on over to Drib on YouTube and watch the video version as well. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when we're releasing a new episode or any other fun information about the podcast, you can give us a follow on Instagram at It Takes All Kinds Podcast and on Twitter at ITAC Podcast. That's I T A K Podcast. Without saying much else, we hope you enjoy this episode. Now that seems too quiet now. Huh. Huh. Damn lasers are fucking everything up. Huh. Huh. At at your service. Hello and welcome to the It Takes All Kinds podcast. On your mark. Episode 132, you're hearing this. On t- well, See, we're recording this. Now. See, we're recording this. See? See? See, we're recording this on Tuesday, September 12th. You'll be hearing this on Friday, September 13th, 15th. 15th. I That's know right. you know that day, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, there's no reason to talk about it now. You have your NPR voice on, but we're going to be getting to that later. later. Gavin, this week... We got a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Got some serious stuff to just talk about us too. Gavin has a techno world he would like to share about the Apple. Event. What did they call it? They called it something because I got an email. No, 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 no. They had a special name. W- Wonderlust. Yeah, that was it. Uh, the and Apple like, oh, Wonderlust I like, keynote. Oh, shit, I actually gonna... took a quiz on my knowledge of uh, Apple keynotes. I took a quiz on my knowledge of lust. And, and I got an eight out of ten. When, why, and what class was this in? Oh, it was just like The Verge tech magazine website. Is that a class? Yep. Oh, shit. I didn't know you were Yep, I was you're in, taking that class this semester. I was in The Verve. The Verve pipe? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're also... I have a question to ask to, to Gavin. Gavin saw something crazy in the sky that I want to know about. I want to know about it too. Well, we might find out. Uh, we have a thought, another thought of the week. Uh, this one's going to be a fun thought, one. Son or gay daughter? Gavin and I are finally going to be exposing ourselves to each other. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. I changed it up. You didn't know. Uh, we're going to be talking about the man who escaped prison in Pennsylvania. Look out, Vic Burger. Uh, Roblox dating. <laughs> A next door huh? drama that's very fun. What you listening to? The usual. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's just jump right into it. Gavin, let's just let's just. Okay. Hang on. This needs this needs. It's okay I'm gonna if use I this like music. This. This, is gonna... how this, this is how I'm gonna say it. I'm using this music later, but it it's kind of important to use it now too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> so on. Saturday. Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. You, I'm going to give my perspective first. Uh-huh. You posted on your s- private Snapchat story? No, I think it was on my public one. Public Snapchat story? Yeah. A, a, a light display that I'm going to assume were drones forming a giant takeout box in the sky yep. that I'm calling the giant takeout box in the yeah. sky. That's my term. Yeah, so before that... It was an emos box. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know that what said emos too. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you don't know St. Louis people, emos is a famous pizza brand. The square beyond. They call the it pear, cracker so pizza so for forth. multiple reasons. Yeah, because white people eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. See, that looks like a lot more drones than the first yeah, one. Was. Yeah, no, Ooh, I know. it's morphing. Yeah. Right before my eyes. And like eyes. ripples and stuff. It's literally like a UFO. So I said, um. Send me this video. We'll put it on screen so everybody can see yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not done. Oh, it didn't even do anything else. I said, I said, um, guys, if I get abducted tonight, it's because of the strange takeout box in the sky. And that- I decided I'd lean into the, the cringiness of it because it's, I feel like. Cringe is a little bit more um, widely like digested mm. and uh, ex- not accepted, but like 
Wayne, it's way more, you know, I'm not going to make a weird joke about it, you know. Wayne, you're kind of playing into that suburban mom thing. Yeah. Which yeah. will also, ta- funny enough, uh, it'll be a callback later on during the Next Door drama segment. Because pretty much the same thing happened in the Next Door drama segment, interestingly enough. A it was little the same bit lights? A little bit. I thought it was at first, but it turns out it wasn't. All right, so it'll be very clip. obvious why. So how did you what were you doing were you coming back from work is that yeah i was coming back from work and so this is late yeah this is like 11 o'clock at night so it is pretty late for st louis standards uh to be honest with you right um because st St. louis is everything close at like nine but like um yeah i think i i did see a lot of um they have like a i think it's i forgot what it's called but it's like what to do in st louis or something like that they have a post like weekly on Instagram, and Is I was trying bucket to, list people. Yeah, STL I think bucket I see, STL bucket list, and they have like a weekend, like a week, what what to do this week kind of thing in St. Louis, and which is really nice because it's a great way to just like strike up conversation with people. Hey, do you want to go to this or you know whatever? Right. Um, but yeah, this uh, I was trying to find anything about this light show that it would have been happening on like um, Lafayette. Is it is it Lafayette's Landing or Lafayette Square? No, but like the landing. What's the landing called in St. Louis? I have no idea. Yeah, I, I forgot the Blanchette landing. landing? No, that's no. here in St. Charles. Not the landing. Some kind of a landing. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not seeing anything about it either. Yeah. I've seen stuff from like three hours ago. Yeah, I'm seeing nothing. Oh, Laclede's Landing. That's what it is, Laclede's Landing. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not finding anything about this anywhere. I'm starting to think if... What you saw was actually real. How does anybody else know? (laughs) I literally was not paying attention. That was just for me. (laughs) Yeah, that was literally just for you. I'm trying to find... It's crazy because it's like the exact same display as this. I saw the arch before the emos box too. Yeah, because they had an arch in the emos box. Yeah. So... (laughs) So... Guys, do you know what this means? This means someone is operating, a third party is operating a drone show in downtown St. Louis without anyone knowing. Gavin, uh, what's really puzzling me about this is I didn't see anybody else reporting about it. It was just you. Are you sure you're not, are you sure you're the only one who, are you sure you're not the only one who saw it? Starting the Are you sure you're not the only one who saw it? I, I don't know. I mean, uh, did you even think to ask anybody else? N- no. If they saw it too? No, I didn't. I didn't think anything of it. Oh, this could be really bad. Who knows what this could open up into? This, this could, could open up a this is a Pandora's box of issues. This could open up a whole new portal. Uh, this must wait to the uh, This must mean that there's now two portals to, to the, the right uh, side uh, up. To the underside. To the right side up. Underside. To the under. To the, <laughs> to the right side upside under downside. To the underside. To the undercarriage. <laughs> Anyways, that's so weird that we can't find anything about it. I seriously didn't see anybody else say anything about it either, though. And what the crazy thing is that it's not like a whole bunch of people were like cheering and like it's, it wasn't. It's was quiet. Yeah, it was dead quiet. So could you hear I'm the also drones thinking, buzzing? No, uh, no. Um, I'm also thinking it might have been contemporary. The Contemporary Art Museum is right down there too. Or yeah, Fox. it could have been. But what the fuck do they care about pizza at the Contemporary Art Museum? Well, I mean, maybe it wasn't a thing just celebrating pizza. I think it was just like. You know, or what if it was maybe? What if? Uh, what if it was maybe just? What if it was maybe just a test? And there's really something much bigger coming soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's crazy, man. But it could it could have just been like a test yeah. thing that maybe nobody knew about. It was going on about. for a while though, and I was really? like, I I was standing there for probably a good ten minutes watching it. And it was just it would go to the it would be art. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was just a whole bunch of stuff. It was just. Oh. Uh, it wasn't just those th- three or four things. It was like what, constantly going. Name everything you remember. So we got the arch, arch the emo box, box, and and then the then takeout that, box. Yeah. But those each lasted like three minutes. <laughs> oh, so that's all you saw. Yeah. Oh, so, so you don't know. If I was it, just it standing in my car. I was like, could have been anything. Yeah, it could have been anything. 
but it does look like a very similar light show as to whatever this new hospital thing was. Yeah, I saw that. I saw something about Grant's Farm. But I think that Grant's Farm thing is something. I think it's Christmas lights. I don't know, man. Very interesting. I've never... I've... I almost got to see a light... Oh, uh, yeah. A, a drone light display... Grant's Farm? In Miami. Oh. Uh, because they did one during Art Basel when I was there uh, just last year. But we didn't go there during that night. But I wanted to see it because it would have been, like, huge. It would have been much bigger than that dinky little thing you saw. <laughs> I feel like that was really big. I mean, it was, yeah. The takeout box looks smaller than the Emos box did. But yeah, it, I mean, it, hey, look, listen, I'm not. I'm not. Hey, you got people talking. Like who? <laughs> Me like and us. you? Yeah. <laughs> and that's it? I literally didn't know. I saw nobody else say anything about it, which is so weird to me. And I figured that seemed like a very, um, like a young person thing to do. Yeah. Stay up really late and watch a drone show in St. Louis. Get a little. Get a little, get, do a little. That's token. why I'm wondering if it was maybe a test. Well, yeah, but you said it went on for so long. I don't know. It may have been going on before, but I drove up and I'm like, that is something going on there. But anyway, yeah. Anyway. Hopefully, hopefully they went and got that thing checked out. You would have thought that maybe would have trickled to next door, like even be yeah, over on this yeah. side of the river. Oh, oh I don't have next door over the there. Hubby and I went out to see the craziest light show in St. Louis. And then dro- one of the drones crashed and hit my car. Crashed into a. Who do I call about this? One of the drones had a. I had a bomb strap to it. Who do I call about this? Who do I call? Uh, guys? Are you seeing the giant takeout box in the sky, too? Is that just me, or... Is that just me, or is that just you? Uh. Okay, so we gotta get into this, because we might not be able to do the thing I wanted to do, but that's okay. That could be cut out. <clears throat> so, over the weekend, Gavin, this is the thought I had. This is not our thought of the week, it's something else. Over the weekend, I watched, I believe it was on Friday, doesn't matter. I watched the movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Good movie. You've seen it? No. Okay. Heard good movies though. Heard good things about the movie. And that's what I've always and heard. It's referenced too. all the time, like in like Gen X. Yeah. Media. It's, and it's weird because it kind of seems like one of those movies that was maybe a little bit of ahead of the curve, like kind of one of the first yeah. like you know goofball high school '80s movies because it's from '82. It came out in '82, I believe. Um, I think it was '82. I don't know. But it, it, I, I heard a lot of great things about it too, and then I watched it, and it's a highly it's, referenced movie too. Yeah, because of the the one scene that like I knew before I even knew it was from that movie, like long before I knew it was from that movie, is when Phoebe Cates comes out of the pool and her yeah top she takes her tops off. Yeah. Tops, her tops are toss off. <laughs> right. Yeah. You she can't takes even get her through tots that. off. He can't even get through it. Can you imagine what the guys filming the scene were thinking? <sighs> you should have seen the mess I had to clean up. <laughs> I'm to willing my to jaw. bet. We had to get three people to get my jaw up off the ground. <laughs> they had to crank it back up. I don't even like talking about that because this is this is why I can't trust movie recommendations for people who are like older. Yeah. Because at least 25 years older. And this is probably going to sound so zoomer. And annoying, but really, it's like I'm so glad they don't make movies like this anymore. Because first of all, it's a funny movie. It's fine. It's like an '80s comedy. It's like you know, some jokes are dated, whatever. But it's about these kids. The plot is like it's about these kids in high school. And the cool thing about it is, it's not really focused on one character. It's, it's like, like a, a group. Sh- bun- it's not even a group. Really? It's just like a bunch of different like characters who all go to the same high school. And okay. Sometimes they interact. But most of the time, they don't. Which I think is really cool because it's not like just three people. It's not just one person. It's like a like it's not like bunch of people. We're, we're the group to rule the high school, right? And some of them are like freshmen. Some of them are like sophomores. Some of them are seniors. And Brings you like, back, right? Oh yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? Uh, the glory days. That's how I call it. But it's really fucking like uncomfortable because the two characters whose breast you see. In the movie, I don't know how old they were when they made it. I'm assuming they had to be 18. I hope they had to have been 18. I do not know. I'm they, assuming no, I they would, did. I would imagine that all these people were probably in their early 20s. Probably. I mean, they look very young, which is the weird thing. But the two characters whose breasts you see in the movie are, are under playing 18. sophomores. Yeah. So they'd be 16. Right. And one of them, 16 or 15. Yeah, 15, 15 or 16. 16. Wow. Yeah. And in one of the scenes... It's like part, it's like the one of the first things that happens in the movie is one of the girls 
is working in a pizza parlor and she goes up to ask this guy out who they all know is 26 years old. And then they go and they have sex and you see her breasts. And it's like, you said, I don't you said, see this. No, you said, Ooh, boobies. No, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I know this person's hopefully 18. I'm assuming they're 18. They have a job, but it's like in the movie, they're playing a young, an underage person. And I'm like, this is just uncomfortable. Why did people like watching this? For like, that scene. Yeah, but can you it's imagine, like... Can you imagine the VHS, uh, uh, like, tape? Can you imagine the quality of it and those, like, two those scenes? Those two scenes, just blurry, <laughs> shaky. <laughs> can I, I can't even see the scene. What's going on? Uh, I don't yeah. know what happened. But it's like... It's so interesting to me because that's such a reference movie. That's such a like pinnacle movie that all these people talk about. But it's like never talked about that the two people uh, whose breasts you see are supposed Carson, to be fifteen you're or just sixteen such years a, old. You're so young, you wouldn't get it. It's a, it was a different time. It was, but it well, shouldn't have been a thing. And it's like, oh, who directed it? Paul Thomas Anderson. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. It maybe, but it's like I watch it and I go, oh, that's why there's like. That's why there's such creepy people who are in their like 40s. And that's why there's so much like, you know, sexism and shit like that. And that's why, you know, people like this movie, it's like the whole movie is just like, oh, this is why, you know, these fucking uh, millennials or older than millennials are like so, what am I trying to say? They're like, they like put women it's just like women are just like objects because like that's how Nicholas they're treated Cage is in, in this movie. movie he is but it's like a very like oh, oh it's, i love that guy's name his name is judge his real name is judge reinhold <laughs> is that an awesome name <laughs> he plays brad uh nicholas cage plays brad's bud and judge reinhold plays, plays brad. brad yeah hamilton oh and and also spoiler alert the 15 year old gets an abortion too. oh that's great and it's like it's kind of cool because it's Did like you go to the Wikipedia page and just pick off the uh, controversy. No, I just watched it myself and picked it out. It's like <laughs> very front. It's like up front. But the one thing I will say about that abortion thing, even though it is weird, critical that, response that they're making this fifteen-year-old get an abortion in the movie. It's that it's kind of just like a whatever thing. They're just like, yeah, I have to go get an abortion. Like, you know, I talked it out with this. And guy that's the problem. That was the problem with America. It needs to be way worse than that. I know. I've always said it was too easy to get in a movie. Yeah, it was kind of like, oh, this is kind of like cool and it's like not that big of a deal. Yeah. And even her brother, Brad, Mm -hmm. Judge Reinhold, is like, goes and like picks her up and like she's like, she like doesn't want him to know about it. And he's just like, you know, it's okay. Let's, you know, let's, let's go out. We'll get some food or whatever. And, you know, it's just kind of like, oh, okay. Like that's how that should be treated. (laughs) But it's like also the same people who love this movie are probably the same people who are like, I'm bro, I'm pro life. But they should be showing fifteen-year-old high school boobies in a movie. I don't know. It's Whatever. Good. It's a weird movie. That's not the point of this. That's just something I wanted to talk about real quick. It's a fine movie. I don't ever need to watch it again. I really wouldn't recommend it. There's kind of really no point to watch it. It's one of those movies where it's just like if you're bored and there's nothing else to watch, I guess watch it. This is crazy because this came out in 1982, right? Yeah. Uh, quote from Wikipedia: The film is considered notable for foregrounding its young female characters as having agency, which is the ability to make their own choices. <laughs> oh, it like set a precedent for that. I, I, I guess so. I guess they gave them some choices. And like you know, being able to do it without you know having someone telling them what to do. Yeah, because that's the freedom other thing. of choice. Agency. Yeah, because there's no you don't ever see parents in the movie. You yeah, see teachers? True, yeah. Well, you see a teacher, I think. But there's no parents in the movie, which is kind of like rebellious and stuff. But anyways, that's not the point of, the, of what I want to talk about. It, it also has is. received praise for its realistic depiction of the abortion scene. <laughs> yeah. No, they and they don't like... Foregoing judgment or moralizing the act itself and instead focusing on Damone's... Is that her name? Damone is the guy. Uh, who gets failure to support Stacy. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 it's 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 very woke. <laughs> yeah, just on that side. It does. But it does know. mention it's, stuff about the sexual being of it. Right, and, and and here's the thing about that though is it's like, it just makes me uncomfortable to see that, and I don't like it. But also we have movies like, 
Uh, there's this movie called Kids, directed by Larry Clark. Oh yeah, which I've is kind of like a similar thing, coming of age movie. You know, I'll say there, there's, and then also like mid nineties directed coming by coming of age or not mid nineties? Is that the name of the movie? Mid nineties. Yeah, min, yeah, that's uh, directed by Jonah Hill. Yeah, that's mid nineties. The skateboarding yeah. movie. That's also another thing. You don't see anybody naked, but it's like depicted that this fourteen year old is having sex with the. 16 year old or 18 year old so are you saying that to make it even a little bit more woke and to like to put out like a woke cut you would cut out the sex scenes with the underage woman i just wouldn't show their boobs and like i wouldn't like because i guess i wouldn't actually sexualize it i think i wouldn't um, do it at animal all. house also does that too oh like all of those movies do that though yeah. but this one stands out because you see their boobs right and they're gets. sophomores in high school and it's like, yeah, that is, that, I mean, it is kind of weird. Yeah. Cause anyway, like, d- yeah. like depicting it as what you like, cut, what you like, if you had the option to cut it and release it as a new cut. So personally, without, I think with, just I like think, without any repercussions of that, I think personally, the more tasteful thing to do is like what Jonah Hill did. Oh yeah. Okay. I where it's you. just like, and you inferred. know, it's hap- It's inferred. Exactly. Yeah. It's inferred. You never see anything happen. You it's might see them like about, kiss yeah. or whatever, but like that's it. Yeah. That's I think the more tasteful way to do it. And personally, I don't I wouldn't want to sexualize anyone underage like that in yeah. a movie. Personally. I mean it is a part of life growing up and that's just kind of like we are very sexual yeah, and I think, beings yeah. at our age and it happens and we can't just act like it doesn't happen. Yeah. But as an older person directing that movie, I just wouldn't I wouldn't be comfortable sexualizing them in any sort yeah, of Yeah, and it also looks like, yeah, dude, this was me. I'm that character. This is the cool thing to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. It's so, I don't know. That's just Reminds me, me of my times in high school. Right. That's what the director was saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not you. Not me. Definitely not no, you. I, no, that, I, I agree. <sighs> um, but moving on from that, kind of the point, but not really the point. It got me thinking because there is a, a scene that I just re- referred to where they go and they have sex where she has sex at with the a, spot with the 26 year old. Right. And whenever he asks her out, they like, man, I don't even know if they go get food. I don't even think they do anything else beforehand. I think they don't like, take, take her on a date first. I don't, I don't think so because I think he's just like, Hey, those were the times back then. You just went back there. You just went back to that spot and then you just would fucking not go on a date. I think so because I'm pretty sure he like, says Woo, that was great. We'll go to the I'll see you later. I think they call the place the dugout. I want to <laughs> say is what they call it. And it literally is they go to a baseball a public baseball diamond and there's a dugout and they go and they sit there and they like both know that's where people have sex at cuz there's like stuff spray painted on the wall and shit. They're like um so <laughs> you're like they're like um is this the place that people have sex and we're sitting in it? Are we sitting here? Because <laughs> this is that which we should be doing. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much. I mean, I can't remember all of it. Because so it shows it shows statutory rape. Technically, yeah, right, yeah. Well, yeah. not technically, yeah. It, it is. does. Yeah. It is. Yeah, that's also true. Like that's you know, didn't even <laughs> think of putting that word into like what it actually is, which it is. Cool. Um, but that's not the. <laughs> but the, hey, Gavin. Hey, Gavin. But that's not the point. Come on, we can talk about that some other time. What I want to, what the, what I think is important to talk about. <laughs> so that was ten minutes to describe this, the movie. Now yeah. we're talking about the trope. Now we're talking about the trope. I got a swollen trope. Uh, I got strep, <laughs> I got a swollen trope. I got strep trope. Um, there's a trope in seventies and eighties movies that this made me think about, where I was like, it seems so out of our. What am I trying to say? I had a word for it and I can't remember, but it's like, it's, it seems like out of comprehension for people like our age, for me and you. Yeah. I'm, it's not I, in I, the, I am talking uh, about myself right now. Yeah. It's in the zeitgeist. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, yeah, it's not in our generations. Like, zeitgeist. Right. Like, like we never, at least me, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but growing up in high school, <sighs> in middle school, whatever, even college, there was never like a, you knew to go to this place to make out. I mean, I guess sometimes you would be like, yeah, we'll go hang out at the park afterwards because I know we can both walk there and our parents won't have to be there. And then like, you know, I might kiss this person there. Like that was kind of a thing, but it was never like, I never heard from any dudes in high school being like, yeah, you go to this place, you bring a girl here, you get a- Yeah, we went to this spot last night. 
Like, that was never a thing. No, yeah, it wasn't like a meet me under the bleachers. And you never heard anybody else. You never did that. You never, nothing you can think of that. No, but there was that staircase. In the school? Yeah. Yeah, but that That happened like twice, though. Right, and that was like weird people. (laughs) Yeah. This is like, they're talking about like jocks and stuff. Like, everybody goes there. Everybody goes there. I think that that's one of the things that has slowly. I mean, maybe coming back. I don't know. I'm not in fucking high school anymore. But that wasn't a thing was that there wasn't like jocks and nerds and stuff like that. At our... Well, in our high school. Yeah. I mean, there kind of was. There kind of wasn't. There was definitely a hierarchy. Yeah, there was a hierarchy, but it wasn't like. But a... it was like everybody was included. Yeah. yeah. In different hierarchies. Yeah. But. That yeah, I don't never... think so. I don't think yeah. so. I don't think it. that was not a common theme <clears throat> in our small little high school. But it's like such a trope in especially 70s movies 80s movies it trickles in in the 90s a little bit with killer clowns from outer space which i actually that might have came out in 85 now i'm thinking about it um where they go to hold on sorry i'm searching it up is clowns with a k yeah um where the main character oh 88 88 yeah where the main character is like we'll go to this make out point or whatever yeah yeah i think it's called make up and there's literally a scene where like the camera pans across like cars and cars of people making out in their cars or making out on top of their cars. And that's just like the thing. And it's just like, that was never a thing we did. And it's so funny. I'm just thinking about like, uh, finally getting a car. Right. And then, and then, you know, you and your buds, imagine me and you, right. (laughs) Making out. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me and you making out. Uh, no, but like me, me and you being like, being like, yeah, I got a date tonight. We're probably going to go to Make Out Cove tonight. I'll see you oh, there. Really? You and Stephanie? And then, then, yeah, then imagine like driving there and then seeing someone in your, and seeing someone that like you're friends with and being like, nice. Or, yeah. or, or being, like, being like, no fucking way. <laughs> that you know? would have been me as I would have seen someone I knew and been like, fuck, they can see me. Because <laughs> <laughs> my thing is, is like, that's the other thing too is like, they always depict these characters with such confidence. Yeah. If and I was there, like, I would have. No, I would, they were. I, I was going to be. If, it, if that was me, I would have been like, I'm not sure I want to go because, you know. I would have been like, what do we do? Yeah. Now? Yeah. So, like, when now do we start? Here. How long? And, that, and then imagine, like, being the last ones in or, yeah. like, at before. The, so, everybody leaves and you're the last ones there. And the park ranger comes in. Hey, kids, trying to wrap it up. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And it's like, <laughs> that's. It's that's, the weirdest fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. And that's not how it would have gone either. It would have been like, hey, curfew, you guys got to go. Yeah. It wouldn't have been hey, like, hey, up, hey, lovebirds. <laughs> <laughs> He's jacking off. Hey, lovebirds. Hey, what do you guys, guys, hey, you guys say? You guys want a <laughs> <guys wanna>, three-way? <laughs> you, you guys, you guys need a ride home? You guys need a ride home? <laughs> Who needs a ride home, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me call your mom. I'll call her. I swear. <laughs> hey, you're, you're, and that was the other thing is that there, that was another, that, speaking of just tropes in general, but. Um, that was another thing is like, Hey, you're, you're Katie's kid, right? Right. Yeah. Like the police have like this rapport with people. Yeah. They know yeah, everybody. As if. Yeah. You know, like, especially in the 21st century as fucking if. You know what though? So we had a, we had a cop yeah. at our school. I think every like school the, had like a student resource. Yeah. Officer. Nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a time where. I was out with some friends. I've talked about this story with this person, but I won't put them on blast just in case. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say something that I shouldn't say. And a cop, he was doing something stupid. And I think we were telling him to stop and he was literally going to do it one last time. And then a cop rolls up and then he's like, you know, telling him off as like me and this other person are just like, it was actually me and your brother. I will say that. Your brother wasn't the one doing it. It oh, was yeah, another yeah. friend yeah. of ours doing something. Yeah, okay. But me and your brother were just like standing there like, well, knew this was going to happen, but yeah. we just kept doing whatever we were doing. Right. And the guy was like, I'll tell officer. And then he said the officer's name because he knew that we were in, I think he asked what high school did you go to? <laughs> so there was like that, but it wasn't like, a, oh, I know your dad. Hey, your kid, right? Right. We'll have to cut that out, but yeah. Well, no, I mean, I didn't know who that's that was. That's actually his dad's name. I was just thinking of that's a generic. That's really funny. I'll, bl- I'll bleep it, but yeah, that's super funny. That I was just totally said that. thinking of a generic like male name. Yeah, that's actually his wow. dad's name, the person wow. we're talking about. But anyway, so that's just what I, I just, I had a thought about that. And yeah. we'll figure out at some point if that's a real thing or not. Yeah. At some point. It had to have been. I mean, I sh- I'm sure it was. But in, but in our city? 
in this old town. The monsters are awake. They're above us. They're here. They're here. That's another good uh, movie trope. Oh. The kid in the trailer saying, they're here. They're here. It's been a thing since forever ago. Gavin, do you got any new tech you want to? Yeah, I do, but I don't. I lost the file somewhere. God damn it! Lost the uh, music file. God damn it! So this is Gavin's techno world right here. <laughs> Gavin's techno world. Uh, so we'll just go with that. So anyway, so today, um, Apple had their key, had their wonder wonder lust um, keynote, um, and they announced. The Apple Watch 9, the iPhone 15, and the iPhone 15 Pro, the, I, the new iPhone lines. Wow. With those new lines, um, they added, and this is this is a, about as gimmicky as it gets, but there is now like satellite roadside assistance for all the 15 lines. They have roadside assistance. You will now be if you're if you're off the grid. If you're say in the middle of the desert and there's no cell signal, you can you can activate like the satellite thing, and point your phone near a satellite, and it will be able to contact AAA if you're a AAA member. I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's. What if I need to use it to post my Instagram (laughs) picture? (laughs) Then I I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, so the biggest announcement is that they've ditched the lightning cable. Yeah, definitely by their choice and not due to any regulations in the EU. Nothing to do with that at all. No. It is by their own volition. Did they make that point of that no. or something? No. Oh. But I, I'm just making that joke that it was very much because of the EU decision. Right. Uh, but it's to cut down on waste. Yeah. But somehow also creating more because all these people are going to be able to, are probably going to throw away their old lightning cables unless they need it for an AirPods. Right. It'll create, I mean, yeah, it'll create but waste But less time, way. I get less over less over time. time. Yeah. yeah. But um, for, for uh, probably for the foreseeable future, iPhones will have a USB-C cable, which is now what they use to charge the uh, iPads and some MacBooks. MacBooks have MagSafe now, but they also are allowed to use charging for that mm-hmm. and data transfer. Um, and that's on all of them. Uh, the U- the base tier iPhone 15, uh, 15 uh, Mac, is it Max? Yeah, 15 regular and 15 Max. Mm. We'll have the USB C, like USB 2 thing where it's a lightning standard of data transfer. Right. And the iPhone 15 Pro line will have the USB 3, mm-hmm. which has a faster uh, rate of data transfer. That's uh, could be a selling point for anyone that is moving absolutely massive files. Let's just say you're from their phone. From their phone. Let's just say that you have that you have like a 100 gigabyte file on your phone. I don't know why you would cuz the base model is 128 gigabytes. Mm. But anyway, um, the iPhone but 15 it, Pro also has a new uh, programmable action button instead of a mute switch that's on the side of your phone on an iPhone now. It will now be a programmable button um, that you can program sense. to the flashlight, the camera, whatever app you want, or voice memos. You know, it's a it will be an option in the settings menu. But um, can I program it to open my beer app? My beer yeah, pro- app? honestly, yeah, probably. Um, and there was one more thing. Oh yeah, and the <coughs> dynamic island, so that pill, you know, that the, yes. you know, the pill they had last year only on the pro lines has now uh, trickled its way down to the normal 15 line. Ugh, and as the Apple, uh, as it's been, for me to swallow. yeah, I know. There you go. Um, they're calling it the dynamic island. It's not the pill. Okay. Well, um, you call it the pill. Uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, they also um, are using last year's pro line chips in the regular 15 line and the 16 line is getting this year's like new gen tech. Nice. So again, selling points. And I think the iPhone 15 uh, pro max will have uh, a five X periscope zoom mm. lens. So now you get to zoom in five X. What's like the... optical optically. Right. What's the, what is it at now? Two. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a big jump up. Yeah. So interesting. 
Even though Androids have had that for probably, I think, four years now. Samsung had it on, like, their iPhone or their, their Samsung Galaxy, like, 15. So Samsung was, Galaxy yeah. iPhone. Yeah. So, anyway, that's really all they announced. Um, and what then, was the, I kept seeing something about titanium. Yeah, they, oh, yeah they're they using a titanium build now instead of stainless steel. And it's supposed cool. to help with repairability, according to them. I think that's also just to get mm. the lawyers off their back because they've been being they've been sued at the wazoo about repairability in the iPhone. Right. Um so it's also a lighter build too. Mm. Some some tech reviewers said that it's a pretty noticeable difference between the old fifteen line or the old pro line and the new new uh titanium build. So yeah, and they're also going with like a less of a <laughs> sharper side and more rounded sides not like not like okay. iphone 7 like round but more like right. rounded it's still square but rounded square a little bit more a little bit more yeah that makes sense yeah so um and it looks like they kind of uh, maybe they made the iphone 15 pro thicker or made the i don't know it's the lens doesn't stick out as much as it used as it did last year if mm. you if you ever have if you ever have a friend that has it like a 14 pro yeah those lenses stick out like crazy and it doesn't look like they stick out as much this year but that's, that's just good. my take i'm i want to get in hand i might might yeah, upgrade because uh i i probably will and i'll probably give this phone to sean honestly because i'm due for an upgrade yeah i i could upgrade but it's a hassle and a half every time i have to do it so yeah same um we'll see we shall yeah. see i'm ho i'm hoping for santa to bring me one down the chimney yeah so maybe I might just, pro, I might just, just I might get the pro because I'm like a, I'm a freak user. I just, I would love, I would like to, but it's just like, I don't know, man. Yeah, I look at it all day, so that's right. My... But I'm not like an, I'm not a fucking nerd like you are. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like I know I could use it. The camera would be really nice, but it's like, yeah, first world problem. The gimmick wears off. Yeah, I just want to, I just need it to do what I need it to yeah. do. And that's really it. Yeah, and I, and let me say that the the 15 Pro will definitely get the job done for a while. Right. And I just need to get I need to get a new and you can phone just, in general because I have that stupid black dot. Is it gone? Nope, it's still there. Stupid black dot on my camera lens back here. Is it from putting a laser in? Remember it? I showed it to you? Yeah, you asked me that and I was like, yeah, wow, when we're a what laser? Maybe uh, it's also possible from the sun Space too. Space lasers. Could be. Yeah, because I've like sat my phone out in the sun for yeah. too long before too. They gotta. It's, I gotta it's get a new a, battery in this before I give it to anyone though. Don't <laughs> worry about it. It's just a floater. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the camera lens just has a yeah. floater. So that's uh. Your battery's bad on your phone. Yeah, and they also are releasing iOS 17 soon. And iOS 17 is probably the most marginal upgrade I've ever tested. Oh, it's like nothing. Basically nothing. Oh, but that one thing coming up though that we get to do. Oh yeah, but that's like still not even like no it's nothing that's basically nobody's gonna that's, use it that could have been a uh, point one upgrade right this is 16 whatever it's on now for like 16.6 or something like that 16.5 it's basically a 16.5 i never update my phone yeah you are not missing on anything i think i really don't not even on purpose it just doesn't happen and I, yeah, and there's yeah and i could i could go on and on about all the tech articles i've written or i've written i've read <laughs> All the I tech know you're right. <laughs> yeah, all the all the tech articles I've read uh, saying like how much it sucks for iOS to to do its upgrades at yearly because it's basically like I have to re if it's a if you want to keep using the same phone it's like a learning process even for having the same phone even though like for an old for an old person you wouldn't want that to ha be happening right so it's almost like you don't want you know like a geriatric user they're like pushing away those users that can't adapt quickly enough. Because right. there's a whole bunch of features that I don't even use, but let alone yeah. someone that's older than me or doesn't understand technology as well. I, oh, I will say that that is the other. They, they, they iOS 17, they are doing, um, I, I forgot what it's called, but um, basically it's like just, oh, I forgot the actual name it is. Um, it's ex assistive access, I think is what it is. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's basically, I, I'm actually just gonna do it. Certainly, I can turn it off, right? What even is it? It's, it's basically just like huge icons. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> massive, which is actually great. Yeah. And and it's like, which is actually fantastic for someone that is a little bit older because it gets, you know. 
Yeah. That would be the one thing that pushes them towards it. Right. Compared to Android. I know Android does have availability for that type of stuff, but I actually am just going to do it. Yeah. And you get to select the apps that are right. on there and it's a, you can make it a grid, like a big grid or, or a list. Um, yeah. Cause I have seen people like looking over their shoulder with huge text. Yeah. So now it's even, typing. now it's way more accessible for that. And there's like no wallpapers or anything. It's just like <laughs> the giant phone app and with huge buttons. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Which is like, I guess that's that's good. Right? Yeah, that's, I, good. that's probably the. I'm trying to think of even something that even would have been marginal, but anyway, that's. I'll uh, whenever iOS 17 drops, I'll give a good refresher. Yeah, I, I'm sure it'll be a long. Oh, yeah, segment. I'm sure it'll be very <laughs> extensive and long, but it's exciting, I guess, because um, now they actually. I will say that they did actually quote a YouTuber tech journalist MKBHD in their keynote. Wow. Which is huge. Uh, uh, like, just, what did they quote from him? Saying that, like, the uh, the MacBook Air 15 inch is going to be the the go to for the airline or something like that. Huh. Yeah. As, like, uh, this is what. Yeah, this is what are reviewers. Saying. Yeah. Huh. And he got quoted. Uh, That's pretty cool. Good for him. Uh, hold on. Let me find that. Because I, I think he has a pretty good rapport with Apple anyway. And like, so that's why a lot of people are like, oh, you're an Apple show. Well, because he probably got sent the phone, right? Uh, yeah. Don't they send him? It's a, he said, the 15 inch MacBook Air is going to instantly rocket to the top of the lineup to become the most popular 15 inch lamp, laptop. Wow. And this was at, in their keynote. And he said, damn, I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. So, uh, yeah. Good for him. Yeah. I think that that's just, that's interesting because uh, if I remember correctly, you could only get. Um, credentials if you work for like a tech magazine or mm. like a tech article website that would make now, sense. now you have now you can be an independent reporter and i think it'd be J john doe and be doing it yeah and i think they also did most of this i don't know if they did any demos on stage i don't think they did it was mm. it's a much like just going to a movie theater watching the keynote and then going out back out into like the real world the common area and then they have all the phones set up would you have any interest in going to one of those ever? I I would if I knew there was something absolutely huge. Like if it was, if I could go to, this is like way down the line. Mm -hmm. If I could go to like the Apple car event, yeah, that would be yeah. really cool. Because right. then you have a whole bunch of tech reporters and you also have auto reporters there. And then also Tim Cook goes outside and like meets with these people. Oh. There's pictures like him mkbhd and i there's a guy i follow from the uk named, named the tech chap oh, um nice. like they um like he's out there huh yeah which i mean there's some i mean i will say that i don't see elon musk doing this i don't see no i mean i wouldn't want elon musk to, no you know what elon musk you should go and meet with more people anyway um tim apple tim apple yeah met with tim apple and it's just like uh yeah i don't know it's it's in, that's a that's a step in the right direction because you know, we always, you know, we're on YouTube, so, you know, we're always advocating for YouTubers' rights. Yeah. Uh, no, but, no, I, mean, like, but I mean, like, Jake Paul and, you know, like, we're at the Prime Drink. Uh, yeah. There's... Jake Paul are great people to Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, there's a lot more YouTuber to real life crossover. Yeah, especially than, now. Especially um, now. I mean, Jesus. Uh, for example, a Mr. YouTuber Beast. I watch. Yeah, Mr. Beach. Mr. Beach. <laughs> A uh, YouTuber I watch is Kenny Beecham, um, and he's okay. king of the fourth quarter, and he runs uh, Enjoy Basketball, and he's been on, mm. uh, he's been on NBA, you know, yeah. shows before. So right, making the crossover that way. Yeah, it's cool, so, man. Anyway, garbage took the world. Hope they can be there one day. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cool. It'd, it'd be, be cool. cool to go because I think they have a really cool campus. Yeah. Oh, about that. Yeah, I. You can go. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if, I, in all honesty, if I was ever invited or had a chance to go, I would obviously do it. But it's like, would I really want to? Eh, I yeah, could probably. I want to go with something that's really big going on. Yeah, I want to see something big. <clears throat> yeah. Did I unplug this? I'm sorry. No, this is just muted. That's not what I want. Every time. This will do. No, it's it's not enough. That's not gonna be it either. Oh god damn it! 
I'm trying to look for... That's not it either. This will do. <laughs> Gavin, it's time for the thought of the week. This is another one you put in there. Yeah. So why don't you set it up for us? So last week we did the thought of the week where what's something you have to constantly remind yourself. Right. And and that we ended up going down a direction. We discovered a lot about each other. Certainly did. We Certainly discovered did. each other's bodies. Certainly did. Um, so last week on the same vein, I was in the, uh, in that same shower vein, in, in that same shower vein. Um, I thought of what is the most alpha mindset that you follow? I know that, uh, alpha culture is all over the internet right now. Thinking like Andrew Tate vibes. Yeah. And Gavin and I are not subscribers to that alpha culture. No, no. I, if, if, it, if you can't tell. Yeah, probably not. Or probably they probably can tell. Yeah, you can probably tell that we're not subscribed to the Alpha Live stuff. No. But um, one of the things that I, I thought of uh, mm. was um, was that if you don't do it, no one's going to do it kind of thing. Just the motto. The motto. Um, another one was, um, and not this is not, I'm not trying to turn this into a misogynistic thing, but uh -oh. I'm not going to... Um, Watch Fast Times at Ridgemont. Yeah, I'm not going to watch Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Or watch it as many times as you want. That would be the alpha mindset. Yeah, that'd be the alpha thing. Um, no, but I'm just trying to think of things like that. You know, is there something that you follow? Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I'm not going to not gonna chase a bitch. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I, you repeat I, that to yourself? Yeah. I'm not going to chase a bitch. <laughs> I just say that every night. Every night. Before I go to bed. But no, you're not going to chase, you're not gonna chase a person. The nicer way to put it is you're not gonna, you're not chasing down a person. You're like letting them come to you. Yeah. Or 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 you might be reaching out to them, but if it's like you're not gonna let them lead you on and have yeah. them have you chase after yeah. them. Yeah. But putting it in that way is the alpha mindset. That's the alpha. That's the alpha mindset. That's not. I do not endorse okay, guys, that. Idea. That's the alpha mindset speaking. That's the alpha mindset speaking again. I do not endorse that that idea, but I'm just saying that that's just. To get your thought rolling here. Right. See, mine are kind of, I don't, I'd have to really sit and ponder things like that. Like mottos or personal things that I like live by. Mine are more just like, uh, I don't even know what the word is. But like one of the things I was, I was thinking about is that I follow this, uh, it's an account you sent me, but it's like, is it the affirmations one? That one's funny. That's a really good. Account. No, it's it's one of the like carnivore or something or other. Mm. It's like a Greek goddess's profile picture, and he's dead serious. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. like a funny thing. It's yeah. not. It, but it's like I do follow that account, yeah. and I do see it every time I open Twitter. And he's tweeting about you know just garbage about how you need to eat red meat all the time. Yeah. And, and, Milk and steak. it's so stupid, and it's but I read it every time because it's so funny to me. The other thing. <laughs> Is that I work out. <laughs> I work out. I guess would be the thing is I lift weights. I like lifting weights. I don't really watch anybody or like subscribe to anybody, follow anybody that does it. I mean, I guess I kind of do, but it's like I follow them for other reasons, but they also do work out. Yeah. So I guess like keeping, you know, I guess, you know, keeping, staying physically active, if you can't tell, <laughs> is like is something I find important, which is kind of like an alpha thing, but I'm also not like a, you don't need to go to fucking therapy, just go to the gym. So on the other hand, I'm not, but it's like, it's kind of looked at as like an alpha thing now. Would you, what are your thoughts on- Trump like, love him. What? On like uh, I voted masculinity, like in I the know. gym where they, where it's like, you know, they're like, you know, uh, What's the word like ego lifting and you know they're just like if, well, you, if you can't get that shit if you can't do that shit like get out of the fucking gym like that type of stuff. Oh, I think it, that's it, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because it should I be inclusive. All the time. Yeah, yeah. And, and the you, whole point is that you're going to the gym to better yourself. Right. Whatever the reason. Yeah. Whether to lose weight, gain weight, whatever. And I've experienced I've experienced that. Both. Your brother is really good about like he doesn't do that kind of shit, but like. If somebody's like, no, 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 just give me another chance to like do that weight again, he'll be like, no. He's like, you can't do it. 
He's just like, just if you couldn't do it the first time, you're not gonna be able to do it again. <laughs> but it's like just as like a don't be an ego lift. Like he's yeah. stopping them from ego lifting. Yeah. Because that's what they're doing, and it's like you know that they're doing that. Yeah. But they don't know it. But no, I always think that's so funny when when people do that because like I don't do. Or that they at like all. Re- or they will record people in the gym and be like, this shit pisses me off. That's kind of uh, funny. It's always like, no, but I mean, it's not like them doing anything crazy. It's just them like sitting on their phone on the gym. Oh, well, yeah. that's stupid. Uh, it's just like, okay, well, I mean, you do it. You're literally on your phone right now at the gym. Right. I don't know. That's always, I'm trying to think of other ones, but it's definitely like, um, even just kind of like daily affirmations that, you know, like, you know, like, oh, you, you are attractive. People can find you attractive. Right. Yeah, sh- Sure. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I'm trying to think of like the most alpha stuff. thing that I that I follow. That's with that, but yeah. See, that's yeah. That's where I'd have to really sit. And I'm just not. I'm just so not. Right. I think that's how I am too. Or it's just like I don't know if I think about it enough. We're the we're the anti alpha podcast. We we're the, pretty much anti alpha. Yeah, we're around here. So yeah. I mean, I guess like you know, kind of playing in, in in disc golf. There's a lot of guys who I think would. Not a lot, but like there are, there are a few who maybe would look at themselves like that. And it's like, you know, and in that kind of vein, if we're talking about like sports stuff, like we'll kind of talk about a little bit later, but mostly next week, you know, I'm competing in this, uh, my first men's tournament. uh, tournament. And it's like, you know, I'm thinking about myself in that tournament and it's like some of the things I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to be better. Like. I'm, I'm having to put myself in the mindset of like, first of all, having fun because mm-hmm. I don't want to just be fucking miserable for three days. <laughs> what? But also like I need, I'm putting myself in the mindset of like, you're going to be the best one out there, mm-hmm. whether that's true or not. But it's like, you need to kind of put yourself there like whenever, to be able to win or do good. Right. You know? Like if I'm just thinking, um, also in the, in the same vein as that is like, um, I always think it's really, um, yeah, I just think I think I just think about whenever someone's like yelling at you to like whenever you're lifting the weight or something like that. Yeah, I always laugh at that because it's like it doesn't work for me. I, I just like I it doesn't work. No, cause at all. Yeah, Sean will be doing that when we're lifting with people, and I just it's have not, to sit off to it's the not side. Cringy, it's not like no, anything it's like their, that. It's just know, it's, it's just them. what they do. It's but for like, them, I'm not, not for me. I just yeah. I just sit off to the side because I'm like. I'll just keep making jokes and I know they're trying to be serious. Yeah. And it's just yeah, like, I'm like, I can't. Yeah. I just have to step aside for a moment. Not like, that I do ever lift weight, but right. that is, that is something that I'm always, I always think about. I and let, and I that's the other thing. Whenever I tell, whenever I told my friend, uh, who, who does work out a lot, I told him, I was like, Oh, you know, I am kind of like, there is a little bit of like a daunting, like, Oh, I'm about to step into the gym kind of thing about it for me. That like also, just as in my mentality is that I'm like, well, I, I'm okay with not going and then. Yeah. I was like, it's just really scary to go for the first time or the first few times. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, he's like, well, why don't you just fucking go? And I'm like, you're right. I don't know why, but like, that's just where I'm at. Right. It is. It's intimidating. Yeah. And I mean, it, I get it. I don't even go to a but, public gym and I get it. Yeah. But that's, I'm just thinking about stuff like, like telling yourself to, to do things. It's just like, not my thing. Yeah. And that's an alpha thing. <laughs> You're gonna go fucking do that shit. If you don't fucking do it, no one will. No one will. That's that. That's why I just thought about that. Get her done. Get her done. With the all new GMC Outback. Do you want to fuck your truck so hard that it comes out the tailpipe? Out the tail. Do you want to tickle your penis by the tailpipe of a new GMC Outback? Get the all new GMC Outback Trailblazer. <laughs> You can fuck a Ford. <laughs> you can fuck a Ford and a GMC Sierra all at the same time, would you? You can fuck a Ford faster than a GMC. <laughs> GMC versus Chevy. The real war. The real war. The war on... The war on trucks. The greatest war on turf. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways. That was fun. Um, moving on from that. Moving on from Alpha's... I'm skipping over one thing because I need to talk about this first, just in case we don't have time, but I think we will. We will. Uh, okay, so Roblox, as you know, the game, the game, as I'm sure you've played. They're a publicly traded company. They are. 
Life. There's Roblox. Interesting. Um, it's a game. If you don't know what it is, it's kind of like Minecraft. If you don't it's know what game. Minecraft is, it's a, it's a block game where you kind of play on different servers where you can kind of like role play and like do whatever. It's just kind of like a do whatever block game. It's a game. sandbox game, but like you aren't doing anything in them. They are already prefab worlds. Yeah. You just kind of do whatever in whatever there's, server you There's join. one that was a classic that I remember playing on was the Disaster Survival. Yeah, I remember that too. That's the one I always go to. They actually now, it's like an engine now almost, where they are mm -hmm. using it as like a way to get free-to-play games kind of thing. The one, they have like a Battlefield, like Battlefield yeah. video game like on there. Well, it's the called, one, I think it's called Battle Blocks. Not yeah, even kidding. I did play that one. Yeah, that the, one's good. That's surprisingly well done. Like It's actually crazy how good, how well done it is. The one I played that I really like was, there was this game called DayZ. Yeah. Which was a zombie, open world zombie game. Mm -hmm. Huge open world zombie game. Roblox had a version of it that was like pretty good too. It yeah, they like have uh, the same Trouble in Terrorist Town. Yeah, they do have that. Yeah, it's like it's it's like us, um, like a portal to a whole bunch of games, but it's yeah. like still under the same game. And it's kind of thought like most, you know, a lot of these games are. It's it's kind of looked at as like a kids game. Yeah, for younger audiences, and that's how I look at it. Which is why I was very intrigued to see a headline that said Roblox was going to be rolling out a a dating. Was this also feature? See of the, the Verge game. right there. That's what I'm talking about. It's from the Verge. The Verge pipe. Um, that's not a class I'm taking. It's a website. Right. So Roblox wants to be a dating app, is what they say. Now, and I'm I thought this was. I thought this. Whenever you sent me that they yeah. wanted to do adult content, is this that? <laughs> yes. Really? That okay. was what that was, okay. is they wanted to be a dating app for 17 and older. So I'm pretty much going to read this whole article because it's it's pretty great. So <laughs> Roblox chief executive made 10 big predictions about the future of the platform, and one of them involved dating. Is kind of like the sub-headline. Uh, Roblox really wants to move beyond being an, an app for kids, so even The Verge knows. And that includes making it a place where adults actually meet and date. As closed out... at as he closed out Friday's Roblox Developers Conference, RDC. Now, Gavin, I'm really upset that Gavin's Techno World did not cover RDC this year because fuck, fuck Apple. I wanted to know about RDC. Uh, 2023 keynote, CEO David Bazucki. Bazucki? Bazucki? Which is great. I predicted that thousands of adults will meet and form real life relationships and dating experiences on the platform over the next five years. Now, please do not read ahead. I want you to close out of that because I want you to hear oh, it from my mouth. Dang it. Because otherwise, you're going to ruin it. Sorry. No, you're fine. So uh, I, I didn't know that RDC was a thing. I've, I've get, only heard of the WWDC, Look, which mean, is the Worldwide Developers Conference. This is a picture from RDC right here. It, it honestly looks like the Apple one. <laughs> I thought it was at first. I thought they like photoshopped that behind Tim Apple, but it was It's wasn't. possible. And I, and I continue. I love Tim Apple. Tim Apple. <clears throat> it's a wild idea, but Roblox is now in a place where this prediction could feasibly come true. The company recently added experiences that can only be played by users who have verified that they are 17 or, or older, meaning that people hanging out in those exclusive experiences can be relatively sure, relatively sure they're spending time with people who are old enough to be there. Next year, Roblox is planning to release an AI powered tool that would let you make an avatar with an image and a text prompt, which could help you make a more realistic version of yourself. And with the platform soon to launch Roblox Connect video chat feature people who form a connection could move to a video call to talk more the forecast was one of 10 five-year predictions bazucki made on stage to cap off a jam-packed show <laughs> here are the rest of predictions one of which hints at a future update that will let creators sell physical merchandise on the platform or or um our nfts or RFKs. Or, RF, or RFK. <laughs> or the bill of sale RFK. I almost did something there, and I probably shouldn't publicly. Uh, number 10. A Fortune 500 company will use, Roblox exper will use a Roblox experience as a part of their recruiting process. <laughs> that would it's be very, fucking it's insane. It's very, like, you kind of catch on that they're just like... <laughs> 
just throwing shit out there. To happen. Yeah. Uh, a school will integrate a full K through 12 curriculum with Roblox. They've done that with Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Including language classes with schools. Oh, Jesus. There you go. That's Christ. perfect. How did that happen? Hey, look at that. It's way easier to read now. Don't even know what I did. And virtual field trips for 17 plus verified people, uh, thousands of adults. That was a dating thing. That was number eight. Number seven, Roblox employees will spend more time using Roblox for remote meetings than video. Kind of cool. Uh, number six, we will share universal civility metric and show that for most players it increases over time. We'll use the universal. I don't know what that means. So I guess like if they're, if they're um, being nice on servers. Okay. If you're just going server to server and being a jackass, they're probably going to lower your score. So they're going to put the it's Gestapo in the game. It's, no, it's a social credit. <laughs> okay. It's Chinese social credit. Nice. <laughs> Number five, some Roblox creators will make more money from selling physical merchandise on Roblox than virtual merchandise. Wow. Number four, Roblox. No, will... and that's the thing. There is Roblox merchandise that you can buy in the game using like Robux. Uh-huh. And it costs like fucking $5, I, like IRL $5 or like $10, $15, Damn. 20 that you can buy for just your character on servers. I thought you had to use Roblox financial coins or RFKs. Yeah. Ro- number four, Roblox will be a frequent communication channel for my family. <laughs> he's literally talking about his own family. Oh, he's looking forward to that. That's what I would. That's number it, I, four. Yeah. Wonder, well, I wonder what the Christmas gifts will look like that year. <sighs> a nice t-shirt. Isn't it that just says, a gift that oh. we're on this platform at all? It's going to be a t-shirt that says, oh. They moved away from that sound. Number three, a top fashion designer will be will be <gasps> discovered. Discovered yeah. on Roblox without having any experience in physical fashion. <laughs> number two, a musician will perform live to over one million people on Roblox using a phone for motion capture number one okay a, guy all right stop trying to copy fucking fortnite dude i think the roblox also did it around the same time who did they have they didn't have anyone know. like travis scott i don't remember number one a roblox developer will be valued at one billion dollars so very lofty are goals. there any roblox creators now roblox what do you mean <laughs> what is that even are there mean? any like valued Roblox creators at like anywhere near a million dollars well apparently there's a developer who's going to get close who's going to be valued at over one billion one day but and that's a developer I don't really know I don't know exactly what that means I guess I could be like a game developer in, well yeah it could be like a mode de- like a game mode or a game server and you okay. have to like you know okay. develop it on there like the battle battlefield simulator that's on there you get money for that how by doing the robux stuff oh, oh here's five dollars just... for a fucking gun you know oh, making it like a call right. of duty like level so, yeah, up yeah i see pay to battle play. pass pay to play Ta- yeah 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 stuff like that i think that that's pr- i highly think that that would be but i'm thinking of like a robux creator now like do you think there's a Roblox creator now that's that's anywhere near a billion dollars? Probably. All right, well, let's see these figures that they're that they're. A uh, Roblox developer earns fifty million in one year. What the fuck? That's something. Oh, that was twenty eighteen predictions. Did it end up happening? Oh, they said fifty eight percent. Bazaki also reviewed Roblox last. Oh, I didn't read the rest of this. It's interesting. Uh, the difficult thing. Uh, I don't really feel like reading that all. Uh, maybe I should though. The difficult thing about doing this live with all of you. These are etched in stone, Bazaki said on stage. So we're fully committed. These can never change. We'll be here for over the next four years, and we will see you in 2028 for a review of this. I'm shooting for 60 to 70%. Bazaki also reviewed Roblox's last set of five-year predictions from 2018. The company said it achieved 58% of its goals, including 1 million concurrent players in, Ro- in a Roblox game, having a Roblox developer earn more than $50 million in a year, so that did happen, and having a 100-person company developing on roblox the misses included u.s president mentioning their roblox avatar on camera on camera and tesla using roblox developers in promotional effort those ones did not get me oh. <laughs> so the president <laughs> i gotta read that one again Bye. <laughs> a u.s president <laughs> mentioning their roblox avatar on camera <laughs> 
Does that mean like they would play it and have to mention it or something? Pizza! I don't even know what that means. Bye! But I thought that was interesting. Bye! I'm going to need you to be Ow. up on your RDC <laughs> for the next five years, Gavin. I will. And be seeing what's going on and see how, how many of those predictions come The true. Roblox report. The robot. <laughs> We're going to have a... Uh, uh, who's the guy who would do the report? Colbert? No. <laughs> I don't know. Like we're gonna need a the president to do it. The what what report? The fucking I know what I'm talking about. I just I, can't I'm glad you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I now, know. <laughs> communicate that to me. The fucking he would do like a report. It was like an old guy, he would do a report every night. I don't know if it was every night. FDR? No. Fire is fireside chats? No, fart side well, fart side chat with uh I can't Prager even think of it. With Dennis Prager. Fart side chat? Yeah, fart side chat. Chat. <laughs> With Dennis Prager? I don't know. I can't think of it. Never mind. Okay, whatever. Pretend like it didn't happen, okay? <laughs> Can we just move past it already? Listen, um, hold on. Listen to the background of this. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, I still hear it after, too. <laughs> <laughs> cool. There's someone recording Pizza! it on a, uh, <laughs> Walkman. Um, Walkman. Walkman. Let's really quickly t- touch on this. There was a man in Pennsylvania who escaped a prison. Yeah. Did you see the video? I did see the video. He goes, it's crazy. He scuttles up the wall like a spider. I don't know if I will show this on, on video or not, on the video, but I'm assuming you've all seen it. It's crazy. He just puts his back up against the wall. Walks this is- area, which I'm assuming it's like, you know, you're not supposed to be over there, but obviously nobody's paying attention. A crab walks his way up this wall. Like he's like horizontal in between two walls and crawling up. Yeah. Like a itsy bitsy spider. Yeah. So apparently from there, he gets up onto the roof where like the roof, the guard up there doesn't see him. He like jumped over a wall or something, climbed through razor wire and escaped. And then he took like a van and then like eventually ditched it. But he got out and he's been out for almost two weeks now. And he's been spotted, like, numerous times now. And now he's clean-shaven. He shaved his face. He, like, took a van, and then he took this hoodie from someone. And... Now there's, like, vigilantes after him. Yeah, and, and he, they have, like, a bounty on him yeah, pretty $20, much. $20,000. Yeah. Uh, he's still in the same area, you know, still in Pennsylvania. He's been spotted at people who know him. And then today, this just came out, that... He, they assumed he was looking for like a place to like Sleep. hunker down and then just happened to see this person's open garage where they had their 22 rifle, 22 caliber rifle. So he went in there and took it. And as he was running away with it, the guy who owned the house pulled out his gun and tried to shoot at him. Apparently didn't shoot, didn't hit him. But now he has a gun. Now he has a 22 caliber rifle with a scope. And a flashlight on it and ammunition. This just happened, like, I think last night. Dude's playing real life GTA. Oh my God. He probably has like, he has to have like five stars at this point. Right. But he's still on the loose and now he has a gun. And like the, 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 are there any heartwarming stories about this? Nope. It's all disgusting. And he's murdered, he murdered two people. The last person he murdered, or apparently, I think he apparently murdered two people. But he was in jail on, for that? Yeah, convicted on murdering his girlfriend like last year. I was just convicted like back in April, I want to say. But it's like gruesome cuz he like stabbed her like 38 times or something. Oh, and I think it was like in oh, front of in front of her kids too. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah, really cool dude. Um But yeah, it was just a crazy story cuz we haven't really had like a prison breakout that has gone like nationwide. What are for this long, yeah, especially. Yeah. And so many there's so many people who keep spotting him, but yet they can't find him. And like the last time he he's obviously keeping track of what's going on. Cause someone spotted him and then they went and saw his footprints, matched it to the prison shoes that they were given, and then they found his ditched prison shoes and someone reported that their work boots were stolen off their porch. So he's obviously like Someone's, smart enough yeah, to keep up yeah. with what's going on. Someone but gave like, him a phone. 
not smart enough to get take a car and get way out of there. He's st- he's stolen like two different vans now, I think, but he keeps ditching them because I'm oh, assuming cool. they keep yeah. like spotting. Them. I had, I did not know that it was. I thought it was. I thought the story was over. Oh, he escaped. Oh, they oh. found him. No, I thought that was it. I didn't know. I didn't know this was still, related to the. Right I didn't, now, re- still I didn't realize this was uh, related to the bounty hunters. There's what do you like, mean? There's videos of these people in Pennsylvania with in oh, a jeep about with this. like rifles, and they're like, "We're hunting them down." Really? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen yeah. any of that. Yeah. And Interesting. And and really, the discord. Uh, yeah, the discourse is that it's like, well, is it? This is not a good thing that they have bounty hunters. No. Um, <laughs> And also, it's not. And then people are like, um, well, "Where's well?" It's just a whole bunch of dog now, dog the bounty hunter. But I'm looking for the. But it's a lot of discourse being like, "Well, you know, it's still, you know, like it can still be a bad thing that there is like these bounty hunters and that there is a convicted killer on them." Right. It's not. It's not. It's not, not like a, it's, it's not a, a black and white thing. It's just maybe not the breast I, the breast idea. The breast idea. Oh, I'm trying to find this. Oh, I didn't know anything about that. So obviously we hope they find them. I just wanted to bring it up because it's a crazy story that is ongoing, and I don't remember the last time I heard about a a prison escape lasting this long. I mean, this big of a deal. No, you're right. You're right. I, I don't know. If you can't find it, that's okay too. We can always talk about it next week because I'm sure he'll probably still be on what? the loose no. somehow. No, dude, he'll be caught just like I, how mean, I, I hope he, he is. Was. Oh, the thing I was gonna bring up about his. It was his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, here we murdered. go. This is it. Oh, let's see it. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, people. There is a... Are you out here? Do you normally put these on here? Only one dude is running around with 20 grand price tag. <laughs> You're looking for the 20 grand. God bless you. Be safe. Jesus Christ. So. That's crazy. Send me that video. <laughs> That's so cool that we even it. listed the public as a militia to hunt and kill a <laughs> foreigner. Right. <clears throat> and that's the other thing too is they're going to be looking for anybody who's brown. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not a. It's a. It's I've again. It's, it's a, just not helpful. It's yeah. just like. No. You no, guys are dude. Just it's for helpful. You don't get it. If you see someone who might be him, are you just going to immediately shoot at him? Like you're an idiot. Like you're not helping anything. Oh, it's actually from Jack Post Postbeck or whatever. Oh, fucking... Jack Post Bumble Bumblejack. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, what yeah. A, what a good guy. Yeah, good old Bumblejack. Yep. Well, anyways, moving on from that, just wanted to bring it up. Maybe we'll keep touching on it until it uh, it goes uh, away. The base department is calling. Oh shit, he's here. They're now let's move here. on to something I'm also very excited about, Gavin. The next door drama segment of the week. In case you don't know what next door is, it is the infamous blog posting website for your neighborhood for anybody to use in a certain mile radius of where you live. And it's where people can post whatever. And it's usually people complaining about whatever, or people having complain about the Taco Bell down the streets or or getting scammed and Taco Bells and McDonald's and now nobody wants to work anymore. And now the Taco Bell and now the McDonald's are taking away the fountain machines. How the hell am I supposed to get my dollar and a half soda? Can't wait to see one of those. I haven't seen one of them yet. Did you guys know this? They're Chat? taking away. <laughs> Chat? Is this real? Oh, we real? didn't talk about, not to interrupt, but we didn't talk about how you streamed for the first time. No, not the first time. I've streamed before. That was the first time I saw you tweet it yeah. out. It's the first time I, you yeah, sent it I, to us. Yeah, I tweeted it out. Uh, I streamed Starfield for an hour and a half. It was fun. I pretty much watched the whole thing. Yeah, it was It was actually, it's a very fun game. I got very deep into a quest, like, after that, I probably mm. played till like two or three in the morning. <laughs> Should have kept streaming it. Why'd you stop? I uh, didn't see you when you stopped. That was, was, that was when I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it was mainly just because I, I was watching I was Fast explore- Times right here while I was still streaming uh, on my I computer. Was, I was just, uh, I was just exploring planets. But then oh, I got into okay. a quest line. And I started following the quest line and just followed. Should have done a quest on stream. Yeah, I was being a dick the whole time. It was great. You were? What do you mean? No, I mean, I mean, like to the you can be a, you can play a dick. Oh, you, yeah, it's yeah. like our character. You just play a dick. Yeah, what did you say that made me laugh? I forget. You were making some sort of jokes about something. I said uh, it was a VHS tape, and it said like antique VHS tape or an- uh-huh. antique tape, and I was like, 
I bet you guys don't even know what this is. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> like, I, I, you guys don't. I bet you don't even know what this is, do you? Oh, it was like some. It, it sounded like a band name, and you're like, "Oh, I love that band," or something. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. There's something about Mars. It was like I think it was something like it sounded like Thirty Seconds to Mars yeah. or something. Yeah, it was like or so, Mars Volta or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. And it, yeah, that made me laugh. But then yeah, then I was just chatting. Yeah, playing Fort, tell you to play Fortnite and stuff. Yeah. Drink the chug jug, drink it. Yeah, somebody else was there. Was a bunch, there was a few people. There was there. a couple people, yeah. It's good, dude. You should do that more. It was fun. Yeah, I'll probably start doing that Friday nights because I mean, it's not like I have anything going on, right? And why not? You know, you never know what could happen. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I got to raid there, you. There is, yeah, there is a way, um, for me to set up a face cam with my iPhone. So. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing, too. Is I was like, turn your face cam on. <laughs> I did not look good that night. Uh, I, like mods, yeah, mods. Can we get a camera on this guy? Mods, can we? It was just a lot game? of fun to just keep saying chat. Yeah, are you guys seeing this chat? Chat, is this real? Anyways, I just had to bring that up. That you guys, nothing to do you with also saw about. me fight that terror morph. I did. Yeah, that was the, fucking scary, actually. Did I? The, like, dinosaur-looking thing? No, well, there's that. But, I mean, there oh. was, like, this, like, beast that, like, snuck up on me. Maybe I didn't see yeah, that. It was cool. I must have missed that. I saw when you were killing, like, a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, those things suck. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that's what this game was about. <laughs> it's a lot like No Man's Sky in that aspect that you get to explore. You know, like the 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 game that like bombed for like the first two years because they're like, you get to explore an unlimited universe, and oh. then they're like, and you get to meet Sounds with players, familiar. and then players met up at the same point and they weren't there on each other's screen. Oh, that does sound familiar. Yeah, it was like after Skyrim, right? Yeah, but yeah. It, it was like it was like a smaller developer from like the Netherlands or something like that. Oh, like, well, then yeah. maybe I don't. I think I'm thinking of another. Or yeah, but anyway. Skyrim. The same people that made Starfield. Okay. Yeah. It was like something that came after Skyrim that was like Skyrim, but it was like a space thing, I thought. I could be thinking of it. I don't know. I could be completely making that up. This was like uh, 10 years ago. ago. Yeah, I was going to say 12 years ago, even. It was probably about 10, almost 10 years ago. Uh, Yeah, it was. Anyway. Moving on, though. Next door drama, whatever. Uh, Chat. That's what the app is. Uh, and then what we do is we take a blog entry, comment, script it out, do a dramatic reenactment of it, set to music. This week, the next short drama is titled Elon Musk Satellite. <laughs> That's the title of it. Uh, I will be playing the character of Brenda, whose inquisitive mind is getting the best of her. <laughs> oh, my God. Gavin will be playing Julie, who's very knowledgeable. Uh, without saying much else, I'm going to play the next short drama intro song, and we're going to get right into it. This week on Next Door Drama. (laughs) What the heck is this? Anyone else see it? Starlink. Elon Musk's Starlink satellites? It's Starlink. Elon Musk's satellite? Looks like a train of recently lost space re- recently launched SpaceX Starlink satellites to me. Starlink satellites. It's neat to watch them line up and take off. LOL, they are cool to see. It's SpaceX fright. Space XR satellites. That's Elon Musk and his satellites. Starlink satellites. It's a Starlink system. No worries. Yep. Starlink satellites being <laughs> shot up in the air. Yay. How do these people know what the fuck Starlink sounds like? I have no idea. But this is this was my my case. Are you gonna post the picture on the? I will. Okay. I will. I'm like, what? I have to make a reminder Can too. Can you but... brighten that image too? What is that? There's so there's a video. What is that? I don't know if I'll show the video, but I will show the picture. But it was just this train of of the satellites moving. It was nothing. 
but it made me think was it the drones but this whole this whole story was my case study to show how how many people just say the same, the same thing. fucking thing and i i thought it was the same person every time <laughs> no it's different it was different, diff that's all, these are all different people saying peek the same behind thing. the curtain it, they, they were, were all, all different, different people. people saying it and for some reason all saying it different <laughs> ways starlink it's starlink elon musk starlink satellites elon musk satellite it's space starlink. x ah satellites I love space space exa satellites. I love X space freight. <laughs> freight freight. Because what the fuck does that even mean? Actually, does it? Does it yeah, no, it does say freight. X space freight. 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 Oh, that made me laugh so hard when I was making it. Because I was just like, "What can I do with this?" And then I was like, "What if they just keep saying the same fucking <laughs> thing every time?" Starlink. Yep. Starlink satellites being shot up in the air. Yay! 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 <laughs> and those were just like response to the main blog post. Those weren't like responses to different people. Those were just responses yep. to Elon that. Musk satellite. Yep, that's Elon Musk and his satellites again. <laughs> All right. All right. You got me, Gavin. <laughs> Another segment we do every week is called What You Listen To. It's where we recommend a song, album, or artist to each other that we've been listening to in the past week. I got it. Gavin's got it. I know my song. Would you like to go first or would you like me to? I'll go first because I actually wanted to say yeah, you I actually... have a little bit of a gripe. Because I, quite frankly, to put it lightly, I am in a music slump. Look, yeah, I, I have, can tell whenever you said you actually listen to music that I would like. And I'm like, whoa. whoa. Well, dude, this might come up next week, so don't be surprised. It might be spoiler alert. I was this close to recommending Revolver by the Beatles. Wow. It was that close, but I was like, I haven't listened to it enough yet. But tell I'm really liking you got it. Everything you want Again, I haven't listened to it enough. Oh, yeah, I do like that song. It's a great song. So that might be coming up, but that's where I'm at right now. It's like, I'm just like, I'm getting sick of listening to the same stuff because I've been doing a lot of working out and a lot of training for this tournament that we'll talk about at a later date that I'm just listening to the later. same shit. And I'm just like, ugh, I need something new. So I'm just in a music slump. So this one I've been listening to for a while now. It's a great song. I'm just like, I'm now at the point where I'm like, it's got to get out of my rotation. It's going to have to leave my rotation soon because I've just fucking looped it over and over again. And that is No More Shame by Lower Heaven, which is a band. So you think if you I recommend had, it, it'll get out of your rotation? Maybe. Fuck but I, I've now. been wanting to recommend it. I just haven't yet. Because this is a band that I have never, ever heard of. Really? There's really not even much out about them, but it's a new song. So I'm assuming it's a newer hardcore metalcore band. But they're solid. They're really fucking good. They're like... I hope they keep making stuff because they'll be one of my favorites. They're like, they have a, if you know, Harm's Way, the band Harm's Way, they have a Harm's Way kind of sound, deeper. Yeah, I actually, whenever you posted stuff. this on your story, I was like, sorry. We'll wait. Whenever you posted this on your story, I was like, wow, this is actually like some hard shit. Yeah, very, very good. Really solid for a band that might be newer, as far as I know. Uh, and this it was reminds released me of on the like Red a, Hot Chili Peppers cover. Yeah, really cool cover, too. Uh, if you look it up, it's like a kind of, traditional tattoo skulls but it was on like a split single release with another song called um something about atlas what was it burden of atlas which is also good they're both really good it's just i really like that song the most Actually, that's what i'm listening to this week Gavin, what about you Baish? i'm listening to the song metal by gary newman oh yeah um, you were talking about that last week yeah and uh it's been stuck in my gut dang head uh, i didn't mean to play it sorry now we're getting struck oh, we're gonna listen to it um at my wedding there's gonna be a baked bean salad um this is on the pleasure the pleasure principle came out in 1979 i was listening to cv wonders oh yeah you were talking about doing that yeah i haven't listened all the way through though because i kept oh. scrolling twitter and i kept finding videos to laugh at so we're on the same page maybe we'll yeah. be maybe we're giving spoilers for next week yeah we'll see for both of ours uh, hold on. I, the, this tweet made me stop listening to it. It said, 
I recall that day on September 11 when my dad burst into my room to tell me the towers had fallen and caught me in the middle of a violent jerk session. Clearly, nice. it'll never compare to the tragedy that took place that fateful day, but it wasn't a fucking picnic for me either. Wasn't that like a comedian that said that? Pretty sure, yeah. Because I've, I've heard that before for mm -hmm. some reason. Yeah, I think so. But it, someone just quoted it, and I was like, I couldn't stop laughing at it last night when I first saw it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So Gary Nyerman. Gary Nyerman. Yeah, this was all recommended. Uh, the Arctic Monkeys walked out to that song, so that's why I even knew it. They walked, They stormed off the stage. They yeah. walked out. Yeah. They, they, the monkeys went dumb. crazy on stage. You went, ah, ah! And they were cold. Yeah. Ice cold. Get it? <laughs> yeah, dude. Were we good? Yeah, I think so. I was just going to say, we've been kind of, you can keep, I mean, you can play it or don't play it, whatever. I was just going to say something real quick. Uh, we've been kind of hinting at it all week, and I mentioned it a couple weeks ago. But this coming weekend, I am playing in my first disc golf tournament, PDGA sanctioned disc golf tournament. Thank you very much. This ain't your, this ain't no pussy shit. <laughs> That's kind of my yeah. There you go. Let's say no pussy out. shit. This is some. This is a real PDGA. This and is I actually real saw deal. An amateur. article about uh, disc golf too. On yeah, I think it was KSCK or KM, KMOV. They posted something saying how something turned into like an old mall or an old park or something turned into a. I'll pull, I'll find it and I'll yeah. It let you. me know. I'm I'm always looking for new courses, but. I'm participating in it. It's called the St. Louis Open. Uh, my first tournament ever, so I'm in the lowest amateur tier. So I'm in amateur four, group four. Uh, so keep an eye on those. Keep an eye on You can. You can follow it on PDGA's website, or you can... Uh, yeah, probably PDGA's website will have it posted. Are your friends going to be in it? Any no, I don't know anybody in it. I don't, I don't really play with anybody else besides my brother. But anyways. But I'm talking like the famous people that do the videos. Oh, uh, no. They'll be, well, the pros. Yeah. There are a few pros that I know from the pro tour that are coming to play. Um, so I'm hoping to go catch some of that uh, after my last round on Sunday. Three-day event. Looking forward to it. I don't know how I will perform against my first tournament ever. Can't but wait to either see the way, results. either way, I will be talking about it next week. No matter what, and I think it'll be a very fun conversation to have, as I have not competed in any sort of sport in a very long time, not at this level, I guess you would say. I mean, it's not like a huge deal; it's just amateur. Anybody can do it, uh, but it'll be it'll be interesting. You played I'm football, excited. right? I played football, soccer, basketball. Oh, okay, but not since before high school. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. I mean, competed in band competitions and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I did do some sort of competing, but not a not a sport. But yeah, it'll be fun to talk about next week. Um, also got a game Gatman's going to do with me next week too. That'll yeah. be fun. Too. It'll be really fun. I'm very excited for. Uh, so we'll see you there. Well, everybody, thanks for listening to Takes All Kinds podcast episode 132. We'll see you next week. Keep watching. Keep listening. We'll be here, Carson. The vultures are waiting to pick your bones.